Hello listener, in our previous class we have discussed about the introduction of cotal deviation and we have done one problem for individual series. If you miss that video, go to the link given below this video. You can see the previous video related to the same topic. Second one is cotal deviation for discrete series. How you will find cotal deviation for discrete series? For that you have to remember the formula. Q1 is equal to size of n plus 1 by fourth item and Q3 is size of 3 into n plus 1 by fourth item. The formula is same for individual series, discrete series, okay, for finding Q1 and Q3. And what is the formula for cotal deviation is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. <coughs> Q3 minus Q1 by 2. Let's just solve one problem related to discrete series. Okay, our problem is marks 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 and number of student who score the marks 10 is 3 and the student who scored the marks 20 is 6 the, and the student who scored the marks 30 is 14 and the number of student who score 40, 40 is 7 and the number of student who score the marks 50 is 4 and the number of student who score 60 is 1. Just find out the number of student. Just add it. 3 plus 6 plus 14 plus 7 plus 4 1 plus 1. You will get 35. Whenever you are using discrete means this is frequency. You have to find out the cumulative frequency. How you will find? Just take first row of values as it is same. And you have to add cumulative frequency plus second items in your table. What is your 3 plus 6? 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Then you have to add 9 plus 14. 9 plus 14 is 23. Okay. 23 plus 7 is 30. Okay. 30 plus 4 is 34. 34 plus 1 is 35. Means you will get the total number of total n value and the cumulative frequency last value will be the same. This is the method for finding the cumulative frequency. Now, let us find out Q1. Okay? In this table, what is Q1 item? What is Q3 item? Okay? Let us find out Q1. What is Q1? Size of n plus 1 by fourth item. Okay? Size of what is your n? 35. 35 plus 1 by fourth item. Okay. Then size of 36 by fourth item. 4 1 is 4. 4 5 is 20. 4 6 is 24. 9. Okay. 9. So what will be the ninth item? Ninth item in your table. Okay. Where is your ninth item? Ninth item is here. So, this is your Q1. This is your Q1. Okay. What is the value of Q1? Marks is 20. 20. Ninth item marks is 20. Let us find out Q3. Q3 is equal to size of 3 into n plus 1 by fourth item. Okay. Then size of 3 into what is your na 3 by n plus 1 by 4th you are getting 9. Okay. What you will get size of 27th item. 27th item. In your cumulative frequency where is 27? You will consider as 30. You cannot consider less than 27. More than 27 you can consider. So 30. This will be is your Q3. Q3. Okay. And what is the value of Q3 is 40. 
this is q1 just substitute in your formula just substitute in your quartal deviation formula qd is quartal deviation what is the formula q3 minus q1 by 2 that is your formula for finding quartal deviation so what is q3 40 minus 20 by 2 you will get 20 by 2 means 10 quartal deviation is 10 if you want to find out the coefficient of quartal deviation what is the formula q3 minus q1 by q3 plus q1 what is your q3 40 minus 20 by 40 plus 20 so 20 by 60 ok what value you will get as 0 0.533 this is a method for solving quartal deviation in discrete series and 